20 Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Chainsaw Man Part 2, Chapter 59, aka Chapter 156. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm, and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And nah, we ain't sponsored by Swish. And nah, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And nah, we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little kitty, who's somewhere around here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, and something we've been doing for a while now, um, because for some reason, and it frustrates the living daylights out of me, this doesn't include the opening and closing text in, um, their localizations, and, uh, and Shueisha, for the love of God, just just have your own separate localizations for Manga Plus. It it actually would um help in the battle against piracy. You might actually uh, I don't know stop piracy. You might if you had um your own uh, localizations on Manga Plus like you do with Kaiju Number Eight. I'm just saying I, I, it's weird. It's weird that it, it's the case. It is, but. Is what it is. But anyways, um, so I translated the opening and closing text from the more accurate Spanish version that is available on Manga Plus. But anyways, so last chapter, poor Nayuda, she, hopefully she's alive. She better be alive. Um, but then she's in a hospital bed. What the hell is going on? Why is he in a hospital bed? Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today where is he being held captive what a great question and this chapter is titled whoop 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 bzz, split split uh, uh, yuda you're awake oh hello yoshida you slept like a log where's the yuda Sorry, I don't know either, but where is she? Oh. 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 You've been asleep for an entire week. You won't be able to walk right away. A week? Why didn't you wake me up? Denji, I thought I'd, I'd dumb it <laughs> I thought I'd dumb it down enough for even a monkey to understand. Turn into Chainsaw Man and I can't guarantee your normal life. You broke the rules. There's nothing more I can do to help you. Motherfucker, what, were he, what was he supposed to do? Let these motherfuckers kill him? He had no choice. None. He had no goddamn choice. What do you want him to do? His house was burned down. His family was killed. His doggos and key was killed. What the hell do you want him to do? He was mad. He was mad. He couldn't do anything else. Well, yeah, he could have stayed Chainsaw Man and just like just let it burn and do nothing and feel like and feel like shit. Could have done that, or he could have just let it out and just fuck everything up. Which I don't. I, and see if he could at least try. Could have done that, but either or be killed by devils. Fuck, you should have just let the devils kill them, motherfuckers. Seriously, these people, oh, those people deserve, deserve to die. They do. That, uh, that motherfucker saying, uh, that shit about, about pets. That fucker deserved to die. That fucker deserved to die. And fuck you, Yoshida. I put him back under. Fumiko, you bitch. Hey, what? Hey, are they seriously going to dismember Denji Senpai? Yeah. W -w what? What for? In that case, can I pluck out some of his hairs or nails before it's too late? His body's about to become property of the state. 
Got to add to my collection. I thought you were a Chainsaw Man fan. I sure am. I'm a collector. That fucking liar. She said she was a dingy. See, we women, we women do this shit. We are liars. We are fucking liars like that. I know men lie too, but we women, we are deceivers. You, you men are very much straightforward. You are, and we women can do that too, but us women though, ooh, we know how to psychologically fuck you up. Oh, we do. And if you say, uh, women, if you say otherwise, that we are good at stringing men along, especially in the case of Denji, you are lying, and I feel bad for Denji especially. She, Fumiko hit him where it hurts too. That really sucks. Fuck you, Fumiko. I hope you die. Vegeta, I gotta get up. Why? I have to go save Niyuta. Save her? How can you do that without your legs? Oh my god. Prepare suction. Uh, right leg 26. Hold on a second! Even if he gets amputated, as long as he still has his heart, he can regrow his limbs. Right leg 26, amputation complete. Back this, please. This is so, so fucked up. Next, we'll uh, start on right leg 27. Excuse me, no smoking during the operation, please. I can't concentrate. Could this special division agent um, kindly exit the operating room? No can do. I'm under orders to kill Chainsaw Man if he flees. This is this is the Tokyo Devil Detention Center. Since its founding, no devil has ever escaped this facility. Oh, not until today, motherfucker. Oh, th there's... Pachita? You plant... There's something. Nostradamus is coming. I just... Oh, that's why that... That's why that, oh, I see what happened here. I see what happened. I see what happened. Hold on, let me, let me pull this up. I got, because remember who the keys are here for Nostradamus. Especially when it comes to, like, um, especially what was said about, like, famine and, um, oh, because of, the, because of the Four Nights of the Apocalypse. There we go. Because we got, why am I saying that? Wait, hold on. I don't want to get this, but I, why am I saying Four, because I'm thinking of the fucking manga that I'm going to be cut, because of. Because uh, Four Nights of the Apocalypse. No, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. I keep thinking Four Nights of the Apocalypse because I love, because of the mom. <laughs> Damn it, I hate that I keep getting that mixed up. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. That's what we have here. And obviously we have Niyuta. We have, we have, uh, we have Famine. And we have War. And then there's Death, the Death Devil. That's coming last. But, ooh. But, ooh. But remember what Baron was trying to do in terms of uh, um, triggering Chainsaw Man and uh, trying to, um, and like getting uh, Asa to go the fuck off and all in favor, you know, also. Nostradamus can, um, can happen also for, you know, for the, more so for the, um, to welcome the death devil. Uh, let's be real. That's for the Nostradamus prophecy. I feel like that's kind of what Pachita wants too. So, hmm. So now my question is. 
Is this going all according to Pachita's plan? I have... Ooh, let me know what you guys think about that. You know what I'll do? Hold on, let me see where we're at here, page wise. Let me finish this chapter and then I'll pull up the Nostradamus prophecy and we'll go over it because I feel like that's what's going on here. Arm personnel, um, since its founding, no devil has ever escaped uh, this facility. Armed personnel are on site around the clock. The uh, detention center is prepared for any contingency. Even the recent, this recent Chainsaw Man incident was no exception. It would take a war to compromise this facility's safety. Mm-hmm. If you can imagine it, it can happen. Asa's coming. Yoru's coming. Yoru, she, you said it could take a war to happen. Well, if you can imagine it, it can happen. Again, I'm going to stress this. This is why I keep saying, please, for the love of God, Viz, put the opening and closing text in the chapter. They are there for a fucking reason. They are, because not having them there makes it freaking awkward. They are important. Jesus Christ. Ugh, it pisses me off that when um, these publishers don't do I know Kadansha doesn't do it either, and uh, I'm, good. I'm still, still waiting to hear my answer on why they're not there. Okay, so I, what I want to do with this is I want to go over... Um, because I think people are not thinking about this. And fuck you, Fumiko, you dumb bitch. And fuck you, Yoshida. God, Fumiko is psycho. She is psycho. I feel like th there is more to this. And I don't think people are thinking about it. And this is why I cover these. And this is why I do live reactions the way I do them. Because there's always more going on here. Because people ask me, what, Packer Girl, why do you not do reviews? Because I don't, I don't think of these things. I think of this shit on the fly of while I'm doing this, while I'm doing a live reaction. Reviews, it's, it's, no, I just can't do it like that. It just, it don't work for me like that. Okay, so what we're going to do here is let's look at the prophecy, aka Nostradamus first. And then we'll compare it to the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and then we'll th we'll uh, try and see what's go see if um, this is why Pachita is saying what he's saying here. Okay. So this was remember this is from Chapter One Hundred and Twenty Two, the Prophecy of Nostradamus. So it foresees the arrival of the Deaf Devil on Earth, followed by the extinction of humanity and the takeover um, for devils in July 1999, and is the most important foreshadowed event to date. And according to uh, Fami, the War Devil um, is the only individual possibly ca uh, capable of stopping or subverting its effects. Through um, uh, though Nayuda uh, considers Chainsaw Man to be essential, um, equally essential. So that's very, very important. This is why, obviously, this is why, um, uh, uh, this is why Yoru is going to save, um, Pachita. And I have to wonder, gotta wonder if this is why Pachita is staying put and, you know, telling Denji, well, well, one, you can't run with it. Obviously, you can't run without your, your legs, but even the. Even though, technically, Pachita could regenerate, have Denji regenerate, you know, his, his body. He's, he knows Yoru is going to come for him. War Devil's going to come and save him, so it's not worth trying to do this yet until the War Devil comes, because, you know, need him. But anyways, let's get to this right here. So the first, um, where are we? There, uh, is this it right here? This is what I want. Hold on. Yeah, 
here something yeah i do want to mention this with uh i think i didn't need to mention this with fanon Okay, no, I think I have everything that I need. I've said everything I need from this. No, I do want to mention this. Okay, so it says here that Fami is revealed to someone be orchestrating some of the events leading up to the prophecy. However, it's revealed that rather than her um, being complicit with its events, as she believes that they are fated to happen, she uh, instead wants to subvert the prophecy a prophecy's meaning to ensure humanity's survival, even if her methods um, uh, cost the lives of numerous, even um, numerous uh, people. And yeah, those numerous people are probably going to include the people up in this facility. Let's be real. Okay, now let's get into. Wait, hold on. Is the Okay, here we go. I uh, thank thank you, Chainsaw Man Wiki, for having this. Thank you, Fan Wiki. Usually, I don't. Obviously, usually I don't uh, um, use wikis as a um, as a source, a credible source. But when there's a good when when wikis are actually doing their when fans are doing their job and not being stupid and putting political agendas up in them, then I will use them. But here we go. So the prophecy finds its origin in the real world, um, and Nostradamus's original writings were written in archaic French and is uh, notoriously vague and difficult to translate. Yeah, but here it is, right here. This is from The Secrets of Nostradamus by David um, Ovasin. This is one of them. Um, the year 1999, seven months from the... I see what you did here! The, from the sky will come a great king of alarm to bring back to the life of, um, life the great king of, uh, wait a minute, Angle, uh, Angle, um, uh, Angle there we go, before, after Mars, to reign by good fortune. I see what you did here with this, uh, Fujimoto, that was smart. But there's also the other thing I do want to bring up about this in regards to the four horsemen of, um, of the apocalypse. We got because I do want to remind you guys their their roles, especially you know, with the persona of, we got we got the personification of death, okay, Phantos, famine, um, uh, Lemos, right? Yeah, Lemos, war, aka okay, Aries, and the conquest of glory, um, Zealous. God. Or, wait, Zealous or Zealous, there we go. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, with Zealous, he is the person, he personifies dedication, emulation, eager, rivalry, envy, jealousy, and zeal. Hmm. So, I don't know. But this is sometimes, they, it says sometimes identifies by their personalities. But God. I wonder, part of me is like, dude, that sounds like Pacino. <laughs> it does! Um... Let me make sure I'm reading the right thing here. But this is, this is how I think they're going to, part of me is like, this is what I think they're going to go for here, especially with how we've been seeing the humans behave um, recently. This is what I think that Jimoto is going with here. Christianity interprets the four, I think we're going the Christian route, but let me know in the comments. Um, the four horsemen as the, um, the vision, the traditional vision of harbor, um, Fingers of the Last Judgment, selling a uh, setting a divine end time upon the world, especially based on based on those um, behavior of like how the humans treated uh, Denji. 
Yeah. But yeah, you know what? Based on, just thinking about it, based on, um, just based on Zealous' description, that does sound like Denji, doesn't it? That sounds like him. That, because, doesn't, do, I'm going to read this again. That personifies dedication, emulation, eager, rivalry, envy, jealousy, and zeal. That kind of does sound like Denji, doesn't it? That does. Uh, that's why I'm like, yeah, I can see, I can definitely see that. I can really see, that's why I'm like, yeah, I can, I can see that. Hmm. What do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about, what do you guys especially think about what's happening with, um, with why Pachita is staying put like this? Do you guys think that Pachita senses, um, or sensed, uh, Asa? Slash Yoru, and that's why he's just like, nah, I'm going to let them amputate uh, Denji. There's no point in me even trying, uh, you know, tr um, having Denji go on a rampage. Or, well, technically, kind of like what we saw with uh, um, with what Makima did in part one. Um, remember when Makima essentially killed Denji, um, or broke his heart, or, you know what I mean, with, uh, with what happened with power. Um... On top of that's what it was, um, well, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, Pachita took over and just rampaged. We could, we could have that situation here where Pachita takes over. I think we might have that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I think Pachita might take over here. I think he's gonna take over um, Denji's body. I think he might. And then we'll see Pachita and Yoru fight together. Oh my god, I would love that. What do you guys think? Do you guys think we're going to see Pachita taking over Denji like we did in part one? And see him and Yoru fight together? I really, I think so. I honestly think that's going to happen. And also, um... Do you, uh, do you guys think that why, also, why Pachita didn't take action and hell even waked it, let, just let everything play out the way it did is part of the whole thing with Nostradamus. Especially since we've all known from, you know, based on the end of, um, of part one, that we were all going to be, they were going to be fighting the Death Devil. We all knew, we all know that. We all knew it was coming anyway. Pacino had to have sensed it too. I'm very curious. I, this is definitely setting it up. But God, please, please, for the love of God, give me Pachita uh, taking over Denji, and I want to see Pachita and Yoru destroy motherfuckers. I need that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Games Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Chainsaw Man content. Here ways you could do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. And, it, um, and until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.